And we're taking this uh, windblown uh, tree down. Um, the heart of it, 50%, has fallen on top of the house. Um, I got wedged in between the two houses. Um, and we're here basically craning it off the roof. It's quite a big job. Obviously, we've got the traffic management in place. We've had to get RJ cranes out as well to, to assist with lifting it off. Um, it's been quite a big operation, a lot of organisation, obviously, because we're shutting down the main road into, into Norwich, so it's causing loads of problems, apparently. So we've got no access into the rear garden here for any vehicles or chippers or anything, so we've obviously got to crane it over, over the house. It is quite touch and go, obviously being 30 odd metres away from the crane, um, we, we've got a limit on, on the weight that we can lift, obviously due to the dangers of the tree, it's, it's wedged, um, we've had to you know, really think about what we're doing, unfortunately we had to take it in one lump um, because it was split in so many places along the main stem, so we had to actually lift it off in one. We've only got one option once it's stropped on and it's all chained up, it's, it's one lift because we weren't in a position where we could put it back down because it was resting on a wall with a 30 foot drop the other side. So once we decided we were going to lift it, we had to just go for it. So, you know, we had to make sure it was 100% before, before we made the, the, the final lift.